one then from the 2018 Advanced Tire Master. We've got a differentiation question. Eight marks for this first question, but there's three parts. All different. They've been off to the supermarket and got himself a mixed bag of derivatives here. What's the first one? A. F of X equals inverse sine of 3X. Well, that's just a function of a function. So the derivative for that is going to be the inverse sine is 1 over the square root of 1 minus whatever you fed into it. So that's a 3x, all squared, multiplied by the derivative of the inner part, which is just a 3. Now I'll have to tidy that up, because there's not a lot you can do with that. So you've got a 3 on top, a square root, and 1 minus 9x squared. Now for part B, again for two marks, differentiate this. So here we're going to be using the quotient rule. Notice they're using the different terms of the front. So f of x, presumably they're wanting to write f dashed, y, they'll be wanting to write dy by dx. Quotient rule. So that's you square the denominator, and then just that's in the product rule, because that's what it is essentially, you differentiate them one at a time. So e to the 5x stays as e to the 5x, gets, but gets multiplied by the inner derivative 5, and then the 7x plus 1 waits. Minus, now that one has been done, so it just waits. Well, this one takes its turn, but the derivative of 7x plus 1 is just 7. So that's the derivative, apart from just tidying it up. Now, what can you do with it? Well, there's an e to the 5x, and that's all they've got in common, really. So you've got e to the 5x. If you take that out, you're still left with 35x plus 1. I meant plus 5. But then it'll be minus 7 of these. I'm going to have to write the whole thing again. So that's going to be 35x minus 2. So it's e to the 5x. Let me write it the other way around. 35x minus 2 times e to the 5x over... 7x plus 1 squared. That took more working for two marks than those two marks. And so to part C for four marks now, a little bit longer. Use implicit differentiation to find dy by dx. Well, there's several parts here. That means differentiate each of the parts, obviously. So the first part is you've got a product. So differentiating that would be dy by dx. Leave that as cos x. And then leaving that alone, differentiate that to negative sin x. Well, you may do it the other way around. Differentiating this, now that's a function of a function. Y is a function of x. So it'll be outer function first, so two times whatever it was, multiplied by the derivative of that with respect to x, so divide by dx, and 6x just goes to 6. Now gather the parts up. There'll be some parts that say divide by dx, and there'll be parts that don't. What says divide by dx? There's a cos x and a 2y, whichever order you like. Cos x plus 2y. What well, doesn't say it, well that didn't say it, and neither does this. So that's going to go across as a plus. So which order will I put it in? Oh, that was there first. 6 plus y sine x. Now finally to get dy by dx, take this across and divide. 6 plus y sine x. And maybe I'll keep it in the same order so the trig term second. 2y plus cos x. And there we go. It's done.